All right, five. This one wants the population variance, population standard deviation, and the range. Range is still computed the same way. Now population is looking for the other symbols. So we're looking for sigma squared, sigma, and just the range. Okay, so these, we're looking for these this time. And remember, the calculator has a little X by it, okay? So we're going to put in all 14. And just to make a note, okay, since they're all 14 and we're talking about measures of dispersion or spread, these numbers are not spread at all. They're just all in the same point. Okay, so there's no, no distance between them. There's not going to be any spread. Everything should come out zero. So stat, enter. I'm going to go up, clear, enter. I'm just going to enter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Stat, calc, enter, enter. So notice what we have here. The standard deviation is zero. When you square zero, which is basically zero times zero, you still get zero. And your range, minimum and maximum, are both 14. So 14 minus 14 is also zero. So if everything is the same, there's no spread, there's no measure of distance, everything comes out zero.